In this last part, we're going to wrap things up by finalizing our character. To reduce the amount of objects a bit, we'll join the boot buckles and rivets together. Rename this Boot Details. The poly count for these are currently 924 faces. We can reduce this a bit by removing any unnecessary geometry without affecting the overall look of the model. We'll do the same for the corset, and name this Corset Details. For the large buckle, we'll just remove the back edge loop. We can also further remove geometry in areas we never see. For example, these hidden faces in the corset. In the outliner, we'll go through our objects list and set the subdivision View and Render to 2. Next, we'll check over anything that has a vertex group icon assigned. The vertex groups for the corset and corset straps are there because we use the body mesh to create them. Since they're not needed here, we'll delete those. Making sure material assignment for each mesh is clean, with no unnecessary duplicates. To check for any triangles, select the object and unhide any mask modifier to view the entire mesh. Switch to Face Select mode, and under the Window header, press Select Triangles. Nothing was selected because there are no triangles in this mesh. To demonstrate, I'll create triangles in the hand and try this again. Using numpad period, we can zoom into selected and go ahead and fix these. Going through and checking for triangles on the other objects. Switching to vertex select mode. We'll check for any duplicated vertices. Press W and select Remove Doubles. None were found to remove. To demonstrate, I'll duplicate this vertex and try it again. It automatically found and removed this floating vertex. Duplicating the entire mesh in edit mode this time. Next, in the Properties shelf, we'll remove our background images since we'll no longer be needing them. We'll double check all normals by enabling solid shading.
Inverting the normals here just to demonstrate how the mesh would look like if it were inverted. In the Properties panel, we'll apply the mirror modifier to make the left side real on all objects, except for the eyeball and cornea. At this stage, we can also apply the mask modifier, which would permanently delete the hidden geometry, but we'll just leave this as is. Under Scene, Simplify, we can enable simplification of our scene for quicker preview. Enabling Display All Edges. Adjusting the back grid unit system to meters or feet, let's adjust the scale of our model to about five and a half feet tall. With our cursor at the origin, add an empty. Selecting all and the empty last, press Ctrl P to parent everything to the empty. Before scaling down the empty, make sure to disable Manipulate Object Centers only here. Pressing Alt-P to clear parent would clear the parent and revert scale. In this case, we'll select clear and keep transforms. We can now delete the empty since we no longer need it. With everything selected, press Ctrl-A to apply scale values on all our objects. Setting the unit system back to none. Next, we'll apply the translation and rotation values for everything except the eyeball and cornea. In the outliner, we'll restrict their selection for now. Back in the viewport, select all and press Ctrl A to apply. We'll leave the camera and light in this layer here.
As a final step, enable Scene Simplify at Subdivision 0. We went from 22 to 18 objects, and our final model's base poly count is 22,700 faces. And this concludes our workshop. Hope it was useful, and thank you for watching.